Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back with our 12 month binder stuffing. We are also gonna stuff our five savings challenges from Jordan Budgets. I have to dip into my emergency fund today. I'll let you know what's going on there. And we're doing our 100 envelope challenge that is part of our down payment towards a house savings. And I've got some news on that as well. So before we get started, a couple updates really quick. I wanna wish happy birthday again to Miss Hands and Bands, Miss Elisha. Um, our birthday was, I believe it was on Monday, the 18th. Um, also, another birthday was for 40 plus life, Miss Veronica. So those are our July birthdays. Not to mention my stepfather turned 64 on July 17th. So three birthdays now. <laughs> He's not a YouTuber, y'all. But anyways, I wanted to wish both Veronica and Elisha a happy birthday um, for July babies. With that being said... Our second update, y'all, and the reason that this video is late is because little Tucker, my eight and a half year old Chihuahua, has a tumor on the outside of his body, underneath his stomach area, really down below, um, closer to something else. <laughs> um, and anyways, he was scheduled for surgery on July 7th. And that scheduled date had to be removed and they rescheduled it for the 25th of, July, of January. Uh, uh, of July, not January, <laughs> of July. And unfortunately, it wasn't gonna hold out that long. We had to take Tucker in and rush him into emergency um, hospital on Sunday, y'all, the 17th. And unfortunately, it was late at night, so therefore we were going to the ER. And when you go to a pet ER hospital, it is extraordinarily expensive. I am gonna be looking for some pet insurance to see if anything covers that because I have Jaya as well, which is my half Chihuahua, half Dachshund mix, and she's epileptic and she has pancreatitis. And I wanna see if there's an insurance that covers anything like hospital visits that are emergency type standard visits for hospitals. So if you guys know anything of a really good pet insurance, let me know. I'm gonna also be calling the pet hospital to see what kind of insurance they actually accept. So anyways, we had to take Tucker in. Unfortunately, his tumor started to rupture and leak, which is never a good thing. And they were able to take care of him for the night for me, um, gave him medication. He's got a little clear cone he's gotta wear around his head and the full bit. And it was enough time to get me to the veterinarian the very next day. Called my veterinarian. They said, bring him in immediately. We had no waiting time literally because he was considered an emergency surgery he was brought right in and y'all we finally got him back last night at about four o'clock in the afternoon he's doing well thank you to everyone who has wished him warm wishes and thankful thoughts and prayers and all that because being an eight and a half year old chihuahua he really was in some bad shape last night um well i should say yesterday morning but Thank you. Thankfully, we have the surgeons that we do that can work on him, and he was a very experienced uh, veteran surgeon, uh, pet surgeon. So he's doing well. He's recovering. We have we'll get stitches out in about 12 days. Good news is the tumor is not cancerous. It is just a tumor. They don't know what the origin is. Um, the chances of it growing back is less than five percent. Doctor thinks he's got a hundred percent of it. He had to go pretty deep in to recover whatever it was attached to. Um, and get all that pulled out um, that needed to come out with the tumor. So, yes, we're going to dip into the emergency fund today for just a tad bit. And I've got a solution for that as well. So let's go ahead and start with our January binder. We'll roll through this pretty quickly. This is pretty standard. January is Jessica and Phillip's birthday. We are not doing the $20 stuffings. That only happens once a month for their actual birthday. They want cash. They do not want any kind of present. So they're going to each get $200 in January for their birthday. So we're rolling pretty good on that. They each have $60 currently as we speak right now. With that being said, um, we have $45 in there for their meal. They're going to have a takeout from Uber Eats and just have it delivered to the house. A meal of their choice, their restaurant, their way. Um, everybody else in the house will have to choose off that restaurant as well because it's their birthday. And for their cakes. So they have currently $45. A $5 bill going in is going to make it $50. When I hit $100, that's when I will shut down that portion because that's enough for the two cakes plus the meal. Um, but I'll keep rolling with the $20 a month every month for each one of them until I hit $200 for each one of them a piece. 
February is Valentine's Day, and it's my husband and I's anniversary. We're just adding a five. This puts us at 50. Again, if I hit 100, 100 is good enough for us. So we'll be done with that. March is my mom's birthday. Y'all, yeah, she's got money in here too. She's at 50 with a five. When I get to 100, I'll probably shut hers down as well. I'm going to be giving her and my stepfather a meal card so they can have a good meal on us for her birthday. And we'll probably also order a cake from Hy-Vee and have it delivered to her house. So that is March. April is Danya's. Same thing with January. She's going to be rolling with $20 every single month until she reaches 200 And then I'll put a stop to it. Um, probably take until... I don't know when. <laughs> but anyways, when it, once it get, hits there, we'll get it. She's got 45 for her meal, her cake, and hers will be a little bit bigger because I am taking all three of the kiddos to Golden Corral during that night. That is their favorite place on the planet to eat right now. And with Uber having to drive us to and from there as well, plus the meal, plus the tip, it's a little over $100 just for that, plus her cake. So I'm going to probably look to stuff maybe 150 in hers. Um, I did have a subscriber tell me that maybe I should just do a one time for Golden Corral instead of trying to do it in January and then get it in April. Genius idea. Love it. Thank you so much. So that was April. May is Mother's Day. That's me and my mom. Half will go to my mom. Half will go to me. That way the kids can shop for me. I'll give them each a little to shop with and then I can get my mom something that currently now has 50 in it too. So we are rolling really good. And June is my grandson's birthday month, and it is also Father's Day. So we're going to switch. Normally, we do $5 for each one of these months here, um, but we're going to switch to going to 10 5 for Adonis' birthday for his fourth birthday next year, and 5 for Father's Day for my husband, who actually isn't a father of any sort. However, he is the stepfather to my kids, and we have that taken care of so now we're going to go through july through december july my father's birthday has just passed as i said we are starting to restuff for him so he has one, one two three he currently has 15 dollars in there for next july once i hit 100 with him as well oops don't mess up the numbers hold on one second y'all i'm gonna mess my fives and tens up we are not going to do that. Let's see, what is that? That's my 10 and 10. Okay. All right, back on track. Y'all, not being able to see, this is, makes it very, very hard for somebody who cannot see their own denominations. Um, so he's currently got 15, so this will put him at 20 for next July. He is sent down a meal card with his birthday card. And I chose Subway for him this year because him and my mom absolutely love Subway. So they'll have a couple of Subway meals on us. When I reach 100 in this, I will go ahead and flip that off as well. August is only getting a 5. Nothing going on in August. We'll figure out what we're going to do with that when August comes. September is getting a 5 as well. Okay. October is getting a five. October is Jaya and Tucker's birthday month. Those are my chihuahuas. Tucker will be nine on October 1st. Jaya will be four on October 31st. Plus, I got to get the kids some Halloween candy. The dogs aren't going to get actual treats like I had originally planned. I am now going to be doing homemade dog treats. Um, but that will allow me to stock them up a little bit. They love fluffy blankets. They also are obsessed with squeaky toys um so they'll each get a squeaky toy or two they may get another blanket lord knows why i would need an extra blanket they probably got 15 blankets by now um i may get them each a little outfit little uh sleeping type outfit or something like that um or i may even also stock them up as well with their um treat homemade treat um items like cam pumpkin um, they love apples, y'all. They're a freak for apples. Jaya loves cooked carrots. Tucker loves his green beans. I mean, they've got a, a barrage of meals that they like. So we may be just stocking them up as well as giving them a couple little extra little toys and that for their birthday. November is my daughter's birthday month. She has $110 in here right now. This makes $120 because I'm putting a $10 bill in. I'm trying to get her to the $400 level 
um, when it comes to money for her balance so that I can get her that money so she can go buy herself a new wardrobe. And she'll be 24 on the 28th. December, Christmas, y'all. We all know Christmas. It's also the hus my brother's birthday, my birthday, and my husband's birthday. My husband will be turning 25 on the 13th. My brother and I are born on the 29th, which is four days after Christmas. We used to think, y'all, that we were getting gypped for Christmas because it was like, hey, maybe they're t holding our presents back half for us now, half for cr after Christmas for our birthday. Then we found out everything went, went on sale, and that's what they were doing. They were waiting till the sale prices to give us our birthday because <laughs> everything after Christmas goes on sale. So we figured that out real quick. It took us a while, but we did. All right, for this one, this is my Jordan budgets. One, two, three, four, five savings challenges, y'all. With this, we got one the bulk up because I'm running behind on one apparently. Pictures, we currently have 30 in here. We are adding in 10 to make it 40, y'all. And she only needs 70. This is for Danya's pictures for school that are in September. So we are doing really good. We'll have it done in time. The word day, I still haven't talked to the portrait studio yet uh, for Philip and Jessica. I will be doing that. And then once hers is stuffed, we'll switch over to day. And then I'll find out what the total is, divide it by three, and the D-A-Y will each be equal to that for them. All right, the second one is memberships, y'all. With all the craziness going around, I'm not going to lie, I haven't calculated all my memberships. This is going to get 10. It has 30 in here now, so this will make 40. And I'm sorry, this one has 30 as well, so this makes 40. Um, so I need three more sessions of picture um, to make 70 for Danya for her pictures for her school pictures. She's my only public school student. Memberships, again, I've got Silhouette Studio. Y'all, I haven't even gotten it out of the box with all the craziness going on with my dog being sick and the full bit. It just hasn't happened. So it's gonna happen here either today or tomorrow. Um, I will get Silhouette Studio for free. I've got a Cameo Silhouette 4 that I just purchased not too long ago. And I think before I told you guys it was like $200. I made a mistake. It's $299. Um, that was one of my earlier videos when I was updating uh, my expenses and things. So with that being said, we just went ahead and put 10 in. This also is going to be covering my WW membership that starts in September. Um, I'm on a six-month commitment. I get the first three months for free. I got the summer on WW, and the next six months after that, I do have to pay $22.95. I also have Canva Pro, and I'm looking into getting another um, subscription here shortly. Plus, I've got some other things coming in. So, with that being said, honestly, I haven't told, I don't even know what memberships is going to need to be. It is going to have to change. Just, it's not changing today. That's all I'm going to say. Glasses has, what does glasses have in there? Glasses have 50 in there. We're only putting in a 10. Once I get to 150, I will shut this down. I get to pay for half my daughter's glasses. My ex-husband pays for the other half. Um, for her glasses and it's about $300 for her glasses. She has got special things going on with her glasses. They have to be thinned out. It just gets really expensive for her. Tuition has got 30 in there right now. We are popping in a 10 for tuition. Again, I haven't calculated everything yet. I promise you I'll get it done. It's just, it's been a long week <laughs> and a long weekend, I should say. Last but not least is repairs. I'm not gonna shut this down for a while. Um, I might end up putting it on my firm account here shortly, um, but I need probably a total of, I want to say $1,000 in here before I shut this one down. Now, if I get my a firm account down a little bit more, because it's pretty high balanced right now, um, then I will probably put it on my firm and the money I have here will go to paying off my firm account. So that is our Jordan Budgets five starter savings challenges that we picked. I'm going to push it aside. We're going to talk to you a little bit about our emergency fund. Now, I do have some stuffing going on at the end of the month. Once my grocery budget is done and over with, every week, whatever grocery money I don't spend out of my budget, I push it to the side. I put it in an envelope. At the end of the month, we are going to go ahead and stuff our, continue to stuff our one month ahead. This emergency fund is only for us to get into if there is a dire emergency. Now, I am going to add a pet... Um, emergency fund in as well into my envelopes for Friday. You'll be seeing that coming up on Friday. Um, but we have to take out the thousand because 
Tucker's surgery was only 250 and I had 300 um, quoted to me, so we had the 300. But I didn't calculate an emergency hospital visit the night before. That was 200. So out of the 300 for the surgery I had, 250 went to surgery. The other 50 I had left is being pulled from, or the other 200 um, minus the 50 that I had left over because the surgery was 250. I had $50 left over out of the 300. Um, his emergency vet bill was $200 this time around. So I am pulling it from here. And instead of pulling the full 200, I'm only having to pull 150 because we had the extra 50 left over from the surgery um, the day after. So with that being said, we're back down to 850. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, Ooh, 700. Oh, Lord have mercy. Am I counting wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we're counting wrong. So that is 800. Let's see, I got an extra amount in here. So maybe 820. Nope, I was right. I was right. So it's 800, 820, 40, and 50. Yep, because I didn't have a $50 bill. So we're down from 1,000 to 850. We will rebulk this back up. We'll revisit and rebulk this back up in August. I'll have my son get these back in shape. Put them offline. So this is 850. I did not have a $50 bill, so I had two 20s and a 10. That was what was throwing me off. So. Unfortunately, my 1000 replacement is going to have to wait. Uh, placeholder is going to have to wait until I'm back to 1000 So the extra 150 came out of here for his vet visit again. So, And that was for the emergency vet, which I honestly was shocked it was that low. I thought it was going to be much, much higher. So we went ahead and took care of that. We got one more thing to take care of, y'all. And I was speaking with my husband. This is my 100 envelope challenge. And for those of you who may be new, just want to let you know that when we do our challenge for our 100 envelope challenge, what I did was envelope number one and two is $3. Envelope number three and four is $7. So what I did is I doubled the envelopes and just took the two envelopes, added them together, and put the total there. So we are working on envelope number, what number was this one? This was envelope number 19 and number 20. Now, to make things easier, yes, I could just throw $39 in here and deal with my 20, my 10s, and my 4 1s. Y'all, I'm blind. I can't do that. It's not going to happen. Nope, 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 nope. So, instead of putting $39 in here to, to deal with envelopes number 19 and 20, I believe is what I just said to you all. Yes. Number 19 and 20, we're just going to go ahead and stick... Twenty dollars in here. It'll put us a dollar up, but I'm not gonna squawk over that one dollar up. Um, let me get my paper clip. I'm not gonna squawk about that because we just got too much going on right now. And one extra dollar is not gonna hurt. This is this 100 envelope challenge is going towards my house deposit to get my own my first house. I spoke with my husband, and we both agreed we want to get a plot of land, um, something hopefully in town or close to town. Um, wherever we decide to live in the future and we decided we're going smaller. We're going to a tiny house We're gonna have one custom build. We are gonna have a pretty good 20 by 10 Really nice shed in our backyard not like a metal shed, but a crafted shed I used to have one a while back and I absolutely loved it, it was beautiful inside and out um, all wood shed and We'll store the stuff that we don't need momentarily while we're not using it on a consistent basis in that shed or anything that we want to keep in that shed we don't want to get rid of everything we own because obviously I've worked hard enough to get it, but at the same time, we want to downsize. So we're looking to go to um, basically a tiny house. And I've looked into some companies. I think I found one. Um, I'm still going to look more, a little bit more into it. Um, so with that being said, 
that is what we're going to do. I'm going to get a little plot of land, and it's not going to be one that rolls all over the United States. We're going to stay permanent in one location. That way we can build the fence around, have a huge garden. We're going to solar panels. Um, we're also going to have a two-car garage built beside it. So basically, we're actually getting a house, but it's going to be a tiny house with all the little things, you know, that we need around as well. So with that being said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do know, y'all, I just reached 600, which means, hello, it's time for another another giveaway of a $25 ETSY gift card giveaway. I'll be doing that this upcoming week so that we can get that handled as well. So, y'all, yeah, it's been busy. So that's what we have for you right now. I still got to get the homeschooling um, items together to show you the second part of that and show you our lineup for there. But with Tucker's medical condition right now and his surgery and everything happening all at once, it's been a lot, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing this week. We're going to go ahead and get caught up on other videos. And again, if you have any questions below, please leave them in the comments. I'll see you until next time. Without Limits Budgets is out.